As far as Sam Kinison goes, it was like just how he stepped over the damn line and didn't give two shits who he was offending. When a lot of comedians were playing it safe, all of a sudden, this ex-preacher in a giant trench coat comes on a stage and just rips into everyone and everything. I think Farley was way funnier than Sam Kinison, but Sam Kinison's stand-up comedy was unfucking believable Opie, what did you think of Sam Kinison and Rodney Dangerfield in the 80s, Back to School? Back to School is an absolutely amazing movie. I just... Sam Kinison is one of my... Uh, one of my top five, I think. I always forget about Sam Kinison when I talk about my top five comedians of all time. Got to meet him. He literally changed my life. Him and Brother Wheeze. Uh, as far as Sam Kinison goes, it was like just how he stepped over the damn line and didn't give two shits who he was offending. I found that amazing, especially way back in the day when I, uh, when I met him, when he would come on Brother Wheeze's show a bunch. Um, but the one thing with Sam Kinison, you know, he died way too young, obviously, and he didn't put out a lot of, uh, good movies or TV, uh, products. There's a couple exceptions, obviously. Um, but I, 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 it's too bad that he didn't really get a, um, a great movie career. That Sam Kinison, same thing with Chris Farley. I mean, Chris Farley you know, pops up in, uh, Adam Sandler movies, of course, you got Tommy Boy, which which was just an unbelievable movie. But the same with Farley. He, I mean, his his movies. He didn't have a lot of uh, 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 good movies. He had one, maybe two, really good movies, and that's a damn shame too. Don't compare Farley with Kinison Ope. Why not? Give me a little more on that, there, Jose. Why not? I think I think Farley. I think Farley was way funnier than Sam Kinison, but Sam Kinison's stand-up comedy was unfucking believable. Um, but as far as uh, just flat out funny, uh, but yeah, Chris Farley was way funnier than, um, than than Sam Kinison. I would absolutely agree with that, and I'm assuming that's what you were getting at. So uh, I think if Farley lived, he would have moved to dramatic roles. Probably, he seems to be one of those type of guys. Uh, you know what sand is going to be in 5,000 years? It's going to be sand. Sam Kinison. Yes. Perfect line. Perfect line. Farley was great. Okay, here we go. Farley was great in Black Sheep. Uh, I never really got into Black Sheep. I'm going to give Black Sheep another try. He was, uh, he was great in Tommy Boy, no doubt. Dirty Work and Billy Madison. The problem with, um, uh, with Billy Madison especially, his role was small. That frustrates me too. Like you got Adam Sandler, let's say, and he's got all his funny friends and then he puts them in his movies for like a quick two minute piece. I'm like, you, you personally know Chris Farley. He Screw it that it's an Adam Sandler movie. The guy should be in it the entire time. Uh, Kinnison was uh, gimmick screaming. Maybe it doesn't hold up there, uh, Jose. Maybe uh, the Kinnison stuff doesn't hold up, but for the time... Um, it, it was absolutely unbelievable. Never found Sam Kinison funny. He just seemed to kind of to kind of shout. His uh, preschool SNL skit is good, though. He, do, he doesn't have memorable stuff on SNL either, the, the Sam Kinison. But uh, for the time when a lot of comedians were playing it safe, all of a sudden this ex-preacher in a giant trench coat comes on a stage and just rips into everyone and everything – Nowadays, you're like, so there's a million guys like that. But when Kinnison did it, he was uh, one of very few. And that's what makes uh, Sam Kinnison special, uh, uh, especially back in the day. 